everyone, so recently I've been obsessed with the Rosie Huntington White Leaf for Autograph Makeup Range. That is a mouthful to say when you have a cold. <laughs> Seeing as I've been liking the products so much, I thought I'd put them in a video and show you guys what they look like on and how I use them. I'm also doing a blog post on this, so after you've watched the video, if you want to see close-up shots of all the products I have, then click down there because I have more than I used in this video, so that may be of interest to you. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look. So I've already done my base, and the first product I'm going to use is the Killer Contour Stick. So to apply this, I just pop it through my cheekbone, and then I like to blend it out using the contour brush from Real Techniques. And I just blend it upwards, not down. I didn't set my foundation because these products work better when the foundation's still a bit wet because they're cream products. So that side's with contour and this one's without. I also find that I don't need to wear bronzer when I wear this because it gives that really beautiful glow anyway. I'll sometimes take the excess just down my nose like that. Then on the e.l.f. stippling brush, I'm going to take the cream blush in the shade Romantic Flush. You only need a little bit of this because it's quite pigmented. And then I just like to pop it on the apples of my cheeks and work up. I always like to blend my blush back with the foundation brush just to make sure it looks really natural. Then I'm going back with that contour brush and I'm going to take the highlight which is called Get The Glow and I'm just going to put this literally all over my face so the high points of my cheeks, down my nose, cupid's bow, tiny bit of the chin and just under the brows and then I'll just blend that out. So moving on to the eyes, the first product I'm going to take is the Creamy Eyeshadow Stick. This is the lightest shade that she does. I can't find the shade for it anywhere on here, but um, yes, the lightest shade. And I'm just gonna use this sort of as a base all over my eyelid and into the inner corner because it's a really pretty highlighting shade. And then I'll just blend this out with my finger. But also take it underneath. Okay, then I'm going to use the I Feel Like a Million Dollars eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take the lighter shade first and just pop this in the inner corner and I'm going to take the rose goldy shade and pop this all over my eyelid and then I'm going to take this lightish brown and I'm going to pop this through my crease and then I'm going to take it slightly underneath the eye then I'm going to take the darkest shade on a little angled brush. This one is from Sephora. And I'm just going to pop this really close to my lash line and just like smoke it out slightly. I don't have Rosie's mascara, so I'm just going to curl my lashes and pop a bit of mascara on and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so for lips, I'm just going to line them a tiny bit using a Primark lip liner. And then I'm going to use my favourite lipstick from her collection, which is Camisole Blush. It's quite a pinky, sort of your lips, but better colour. Um, so I'm just going to pop that on. And then I'm just going to pat the colour in a bit with my finger. You could just leave the lip there, but I'm going to go in with the Supermodel Smile Lip Gloss and just pop a bit of that on top of that lipstick. And this is the finished look. 
So here is my finished look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching me play around with a few of the Rosie products. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of them out and if you like them or not. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!